everyone has found themselves in some seriously sticky situations in their lives. But I'm willing to bet none of you have ended up in one quite like this before. Just stick around to find out whether this poor dude managed to escape his sandy fate. Plus a bunch more weird and wonderful sights for your eyeballs in this episode of Things You Will See for the First Time in Your Life. I can think of plenty of ways to cool off on a hot summer's day, but none are quite as inventive as this. This righteous display of Newtonian mechanics and national pride is the brainchild of a group of Australians in the capital city of Canberra. The wicked contraption was built to celebrate Australia Day in 2017 and took about seven days to design and engineer, according to a Reddit user who claims he was there. Sadly, this attendee didn't disclose much about how the whole thing operated, but it seems to consist mainly of a water-squirting hills hoist-like contraption and a ring of soaked-up slip-and-slide plastic. One small detail he did let on was that the invention actually has three speeds, but they only used number one, as the others were deemed too unsafe. You're telling me. Any faster and you'd probably end up flinging off into outer space. Our bodies are incredible feats of engineering, but not everyone is built the same. Plenty of people have features that make them unique, but have you ever seen someone with tongue tentacles before? Looks totally horrifying, right? These bizarre tendrils belong to Reddit user Sligpants, who shocked the internet when she uploaded these shocking photos in 2020. These strange alien-looking features are actually part of something known as fimbriated folds, which is basically a mucous membrane that runs on the underside of the tongue. The folds typically run parallel to either side of your frenulum, which is this fleshy part you see when you lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth. For most people, the fimbriated folds are barely visible. But others may have weird, dangly protrusions, which are really just residual tissue left over when the tongue was formed. If you're one of those lucky people, you now have one hell of a party trick to show off at Halloween. Before you run off to the nearest mirror to stick out your tongue and check it over for tentacles, you should totally take a moment to show those like and subscribe buttons some love. And while you're at it, go ahead and give that little bell icon a ring so you never miss out on more amazing content. Speaking of ringing, y'all hear that? Ring, ring, who's there? Roach? Roach who? This absolutely grim roach infestation was found by an unlucky workman at a property in Sydney, Australia in 2019. While inspecting the house, he thought the old telephone looked a little dirty and decided to take a closer look. But I bet he wishes he didn't. Thankfully, it seems like this particular infestation of vermin were well past their sell-by date, and the workman was just able to scrape them off using a screwdriver. Just imagine how terrifying it would have been if they'd all woken up and scuttled off in opposite directions. Ugh. I don't know what's scarier, the roach-infested landline itself, or the fact that this might be the first time some of the Gen Zers watching this video have ever even seen a landline. Ugh. Here's a question for all the guys out there. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you decided not to shave for a hundred days? Well, here's your answer. This incredible time-lapse by Colo Time Lapse on YouTube has cleverly condensed this entire beard-growing process down to an incredible six seconds. Gee, this guy makes it look so easy. Facial hair, like the hair on your scalp, grows in stages. A full beard can take between two to four months to grow because facial hair tends to grow at a rate of around 0.3 and 0.5 millimeters every 24 hours. That works out to between one-third and one-half of an inch per month. Of course, your abilities to grow a lush crop of facial hair does depend somewhat on your genes, but it also requires a whole lot of patience and dedication. 
anyone else feel like watching their hair growing at such a speed kind of makes it look like tiny worms wriggling out of the skin? Plenty of us find snakes pretty terrifying. And if you're one of those people, then the prospect of a sea snake is probably even scarier. But they do exist, and you'll be surprised to learn that they need to drink water just like any other reptile. But how does an animal that is constantly surrounded by water quench its thirst? Though it used to be thought that they drank from their salty surroundings, research has since shown that these aquatic snakes depend on freshwater rivers, streams, estuaries, and rainfall for drinking water instead. As rain falls, the uppermost part of the water's surface is diluted, creating a temporary freshwater lens that doesn't immediately mix with salt water. This rare footage, captured by University of Florida herpetologists Coleman Shee and Harvey Lillywhite, shows a Shaw's sea snake collected in Queensland, Australia, drinking from the surface of the water just like it would in the wild. Even those of us who are the most petrified of these slippery serpents must admit that this is pretty darn cute. Have you ever seen anything weird, wonderful, or downright amazing online? If so, you should totally get in touch at clips at beamazed.com. You'll not only earn yourself a cheeky shout-out if it gets featured in a future video, but we might even buy your own clip if we like it enough. Now, let's get back to it. In December 2020, one man from the town of Pequeño Paraíso in Costa Rica left the house for work one morning when he suddenly spotted a strange shape standing on the garden wall. No, pega no. Tadinho do bichinho, nós vamos salvar ele. Aí ó, na frente do lago aqui. Oh, that anteater looks like he just wants a hug. But whatever you do, don't hug an anteater. Whenever they feel threatened, anteaters will assume this T-pose to make themselves look more imposing. On the internet, photos of anteaters standing messiah-like with outstretched arms have become the stuff of memes. But in the wild, this pose is a red flag that the creature is feeling aggressive. Luckily, the guy who found this particular anteater in his yard was able to read the signs and quickly realized that the agitated anteater was just a little lost and confused. The kind-hearted soul captured the critter and safely released him back into the wild. But things could have ended very differently if he had accepted that hug. Some of the most incredible creatures in the world are the ones we can't even see with our own eyes, like tardigrades. These utterly bizarre eight-legged invertebrates, sometimes known as water bears or moss piglets, are so small that they can't be seen by the naked eye. In fact, they are never more than one and a half millimeters in size, meaning they can only be viewed through a scientific microscope. Tardigrades, which are close relatives of arthropods such as insects and crustaceans, can be found pretty much everywhere in Earth's biosphere, from rain gutters to tropical forests, and that's pretty hardcore. These almost indestructible creatures can survive everything from radiation to the cold vacuum of space. What's more, fossils of these tiny beings have even been dated to the Cambrian period over 500 million years ago when the first complex animals were evolving. The little cuties in these clips were shot by Penny Fenton using a microscope and an iPhone. The strange green ball you see is actually a type of microscopic algae called a volvox. Tardigrades can actually eat algae and flowering plants by piercing plant cells and sucking out their contents through their tube-shaped mouths. Though it looks like these playful tardigrades just want to perform some circus stunts. Ever wondered what heaven might look like? Well, I can give you a pretty good idea. It might surprise you to learn that what you're seeing in this jaw-dropping footage of the Austrian Alps is not actually a lens flare. Instead, this eye-popping phenomenon is known as a sun halo, and it's a pretty rare sight. 
Sun halos are caused by the refraction, reflection, and dispersion of light through millions of tiny ice particles suspended within thin, wispy, high-altitude cirrus or cirrostratus clouds. As light passes through these six-sided ice crystals, it is bent at a 22-degree angle, creating a circular halo around the sun. The prism effect of light passing through these hexagonal crystals also separates the light into its various color frequencies, which can make the halo look like a very pale rainbow with red on the inside and blue on the outside. In ancient folklore, it was believed that a ring around the sun or moon signified rain on the horizon. There's actually some truth to the saying, because high cirrus clouds do often come before a storm. But the coolest part is that people see sun halos differently, because the ice crystals have to be positioned perfectly with regard to your eye. Everyone sees their own particular halo made by their own specific ice crystals, which are different from the ice crystals making the halo of the person standing next to you. Now that's ice cool. Ever wondered what it must be like to get stuck in quicksand? Just ask this guy. <laughs> Being sucked into quicksand is bad enough, but getting stuck in quicksand with a massive backpack strapped to you is surely even worse. The group of intrepid explorers in this video were walking along the edge of a lagoon at Lençóis Maranhenses National Park on Brazil's North Atlantic coast when the ground suddenly gave way, swallowing up this poor guy. Quicksand, which occurs when a sediment such as clay, sand, silt, or soil becomes saturated with water, may look solid, but it acts as a liquid whenever sufficient pressure is applied. Thankfully, it's impossible to drown in quicksand as cartoons might have us believe, because humans are less dense than the fluid, meaning a person would only sink to their chest before they begin to float. But it can still be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Asking someone to pull you out could easily lead to injury or even someone else getting stuck, and the more you struggle, the deeper you'll sink. But it is possible to float your way out by slowly and calmly wiggling your body into a horizontal position. Thankfully, it didn't come to that in this case, because the quicksand was shallow enough for this lucky dude to claw his way out. <laughs> Talk about a lucky escape! Trail cams are able to give us a peek behind the curtain at some truly stunning displays of wildlife. Other times, though, they capture things like this. Aww, look at that little skunk having a casual drink from a pond! Seems like a moment of peaceful harmony. Until this happens. That sneaky opossum straight up pushed that poor skunk head first into the water. This hilarious clip was captured by Betsy Potter from New York, who took home first prize in a contest run by Trail Cam Pro. After committing this heinous crime, the opossum scampers off, leaving the skunk to drag himself out of the pond. It's hard to know why the opossum decided to push the skunk, especially considering they're usually non-aggressive animals. But perhaps it thought it was at risk of getting a face full of skunk spray. Or maybe it was just feeling particularly mischievous that day. What's your preferred method of transport? Train? Car? What about leaf blower powered mop bucket? Fifty-seven-year-old janitor Brian Edward Cars caught the attention of the residents of Clearwater, Florida in October 2020 when he was spotted sailing down the street in this effortlessly crafty vehicle. The contraption, which he referred to as his blue-collar limousine, consisted of the very same mop bucket he uses during his shifts, which is propelled by nothing more than a leaf blower and an umbrella.
The umbrella works the same as a ship's sails, with the airflow produced by the leaf blower creating the vehicle's forward movement. Well, that's certainly one fuel-efficient, economical, and fun way to get around. Most animals feel the same way about the vets as we do about the dentists. Dogs often leave with a cone of shame on their heads. Cats get shoved in crates. But what happens to hedgehogs? They get stuffed into hedgehog-sized suction cups, that's what. Chances are you've never seen something like this before, unless you happen to own a pet hedgehog. But you can rest assured, this is for the animal's own good. You see, most veterinary procedures, from toenail clipping to radiographs, require sedation to perform. But endotracheal intubation, that's a tube into the windpipe, is nearly impossible with hedgehogs because of their tiny size. So when a hedgehog needs to be put under sedation for an invasive treatment or operation, these special induction chambers are used to administer isoflurane gas anesthesia. The look of total betrayal on this little fellow's face is enough to melt the hardest of hearts. Who doesn't like pancakes? After all, they're so versatile, you could have them for any meal of the day. And the topping possibilities are endless. But even those who prefer their breakfast foods on the savory side will be wowed by these bad boys. These rainbow galaxy crepes, which are a popular street food in Bangkok, Thailand, look like a little taste of heaven. They're made just like any other pancake, but with a bunch of different batters, each with a different food colorant added. When the mixture is swirled together over the hot plate, it creates a color explosion that'll have you drooling. As if it didn't already look sweet enough, an assortment of candy toppings and a generous drizzle of chocolate sauce is then added to make sure your dentist is really pleased with you next time you visit. Anyone else feeling hungry all of a sudden? Unless you happen to be an avid gardener, you probably think plants are pretty boring. But I'm willing to bet you haven't seen one like this before. It's like a domino effect, but with leaves. This is a mimosa pudica, also known as the humble plant or shy plant. You can see where it gets that nickname from. Mimosa pudica has leaves that are sensitive to the touch. They fold inward when disturbed and reopen a few minutes later. The whole thing happens thanks to something known as terger pressure, which has to do with the amount of water pressure in the cell that is pushing up against the cell wall. When there is a lot of water pushing against the cell wall, the terger pressure is high and the cell is rigid. But when the water moves out of the cell, the terger pressure decreases and the cell becomes flaccid. This causes the leaflets to fold and droop from the stem. It's thought that this rapid folding deters herbivores and insects from eating the plant by making it appear smaller, while simultaneously exposing the tiny sharp spines that line the plant's stems. Clever plant! Octopuses are the most intelligent invertebrate on the planet. They can open jars, slip through tiny cracks, and make themselves invisible to predators. But here's something you've probably never seen an octopus do before. This cheeky eight-legged fiend, which was filmed by marine biologist Jules Casey near Port Phillip Bay in Australia, decided to hide itself by burrowing deep into the ocean floor. By the time he's done digging, the little octopus has disappeared altogether. This species is the southern sand octopus, which is thought to lack the color-changing organs known as chromatophores, which other octopus species use to camouflage themselves from predators. To create this 7-inch burrow, 
The creature uses its siphon, or funnel, to shoot jets of water into the sand and then digs into the hole with its arms. It will then secrete a kind of mucus to allow the walls to remain in place as it pulls in its tentacles to appear completely buried. I bet this guy is a hide-and-seek champ. Am I the only one who used to be totally addicted to the smartphone game Temple Run? Well, what if I said you can now play a real-life version on water? Can we take a second to appreciate that guy's wicked jump? This insane aquatic obstacle course can be found at Malia Beach Club Hotel in Zoritos, Peru. It consists of one long floating pathway to the ocean that looks like a walk in the park on a calm day, but when the waves pick up, it becomes a sport fit for the most pumped up adrenaline junkie. Turns out, walking on water isn't impossible. Which of these amazing things made your jaw drop the furthest? If you're on the hunt for some more tasty brain food, why not check out one of the previous episodes in this series next? Don't forget to send in any awesome content of your own to clips at beamazed.com. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.